All right, Gemini, here we go. This is a Soulmate Energies update for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. Listen up real close, because I've got a very specific reading here. All right? I'm fixing to piss off a couple of Geminis, maybe, from my pre-shuffle here. I hope I don't, but I'm going to be honest. I always am. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, it could just be one thing I say that helps you out. Who knows? All right? That being said, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Now, you might not think, I, I'm always honest up front. If you want to shut off the video and go get your ass sugar-coated and knock yourself out. I got someone here who's moving against the laws of physics. The laws of physics are very interesting. Can't really violate them. <laughs> you know, if you think you could fly, if you want to try and violate the fact that you can't fly as a human being, for example, go, you know... Uh, you're going to end up in the hospital with a broken leg as you jump off a roof. You know, it really is. And I don't encourage anyone to do that. Unless your shit's stupid. Either way, I got the lover's card here. The love geese are in the air. Somebody's coming towards you. I got good news for you to open the reading. I do. Somebody's coming right for you. The fool crossing the lovers. Not only is the energy set, they're actually taking a leap of faith towards you. Yep. Coming at you like a freight train. Just like all the readings have been saying. The problem with the Gemini angle is this, all right? And you're the Gemini angle of the cycle. Everybody, you're all part of the same cycle. You're, you each, each sign is just an angle. It's a way to look at it. Like I said before, your person's in the middle of the circle. We split the circle into 12 and we walk around. Well, here's Gemini. We, we, we look at it from this angle. We move over here to up, up, up a notch to Taurus and we see it from another angle. It's... That's why the stories vary from angle to angle and all that. This isn't astrology, it's tarot. It's just angles on a cycle. That's all. A way of dividing it up for the universe to understand what the hell astrology is, because it doesn't. It's man-made. What does it know about it? Right here. The fool. Coming, crossing the lovers. Yep, coming right for you. Here's where we run into shit. Five of wands, seven of swords, and the devil. They're coming at you for all the wrong reasons. I, that's the easiest way for me to phrase it. They're coming at you from a point of conflict. From I mean, this can be anything. Okay, okay. so we have the energy of, okay, someone's coming over. All right, I'll give you an analogy of what this means. All right, This can mean anything. This is a general reading. It's across the board. I'm trying to read for thousands of people. This can be the friend who shows up at your door crying. Right? Crying and then you got to give them a shoulder to lean on and you know and you end up banging them. You know that kind of thing. It's all the wrong reasons. It's not the it's not the way it should have happened. That's kind of the energy here. They're showing up but it's not the, there's something about it that's off. There's something about it that's not the way it should have happened. It's from a point of it shouldn't be happening. They should wait. That that the friend that's crying and all of that should maybe not come over. Mm -mm. And maybe just, you know, maybe go to someone else that they don't want to bang. You know, that kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe somebody breaks up with somebody. And they come to, you know, your soulmate breaks up with somebody. And they show up at your place. And, and you two bang. And that's great. Mm, that's terrific. Good for you. Mm, but that's a dumb move on your part. Because most likely, statistically speaking, they're just going to get back together with the person the next day and you're going to get a call and find out, yeah, we made up, uh, last night was a mistake, you know. It's that kind of energy. It's the last night was a mistake phone call kind of energy, all right? I'm just giving you analogies. The bottom line is this energy is coming towards you, but for all the wrong reasons, okay? All the wrong reasons. Let's see. Let's see. Let's shuffle the deck here. You're getting what you... It's a, it's a, I've been seeing a lot in the energy in the three quick cards with me. You finally getting something, right? You're finally getting something that you've been wanting. But it's a whole lot in this energy of be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. You know, I want you to be careful. All right? I want you to observe how this person shows up. Because it looks like with, with the fool crossing the lovers, the love geese are in the air and the bird is leaving the nest. Let's shuffle the deck for Aries. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Aries. And this is a very powerful deck. This deck don't fuck around. This is the little animal deck. Yeah, it's the smaller version of my big deck of it. But uh, it's got all the power. You know, it's, it's almost like it's angry that it's condensed into a small deck. It's got, it's got a lot of juice. Let's see what we got here. This first card out is why the fuck are we here? 
Mm -hmm. Why the fuck are we here? Why the fuck are we here is the Three of Cups reversed. Somebody's coming in to talk to you for all the wrong reasons. It's the same fucking thing. This is opening up emotionally, right? Somebody opening up emotionally to you. But again, I have to look at the cards that came before it. The cards that came just before this are a Devil, a Seven of Swords, and a Five of Wands. It, it reads like somebody broke up with somebody and they show up at your door in tears. I broke up. We split up. I did it. I escaped. I got away. I'm telling you in that energy, in the devil energy, two devil energies, seven of swords and the devil, it's false love. Underneath that devil was a queen of cups. I didn't show that to you, but it's there. That devil, it, the queen of cups crossing the devil is a false love. It's under false pretenses. I didn't need to show it to you. It doesn't matter. If somebody here, you I, I, take my word for it. If, if that scenario happens to you, don't do it. They're not broken up. Unless you just want to get laid and knock yourself out. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's cool. It's the world. Mm -hmm. Something's ended for somebody. Something has. But there's devil energy attached to it. There's deception attached to the ending. From the pre-shuffle. A cycle has ended here. Yes. I think for a lot of you, somebody broke up with somebody. Somebody you've been waiting on. And it might be a very specific reading. I'm going to say that in advance. Sometimes the universe brings me these in. But it usually doesn't do it if it's not for at least 25% of the people watching. So if, you, if your person is with somebody else or trapped in a family dynamic or something, I think they might be escaping it. But, but there's devil energy and deception, seven of swords, attached to it. And it's going to create conflict with the Five of Wands from the pre-shuffle. Three of Cups reversed. I did not like seeing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. The world backs it up. The world's very powerful. It's almost destined to happen this way. I'm not sure why. Let's find out. Let's shuffle the deck here. Let's see. It's fine. Hey, nobody says this has to be bad. If, if you've been waiting on this person, that's fine. All I'm telling you is let things play out. Don't get too excited too soon, okay? And then you diffuse all that devil energy. As long as you don't get excited too soon and jump the gun, you know, they come over crying on your shoulder, metaphorically speaking, or literally, one or the other, and you, you end up in bed together. Don't start making plans. Wake up the next morning and start looking at houses. We can move in together. We can do this. We can do that. Because I'm telling you, the situation has a deception attached to it. You know, it really does. And couples fight all the time and they split up all the time and they nine times out of ten they get back together just because it's easier you know they do I've got plenty of friends that have been through that all right here we go here we go I got my reading overall energy of the reading is the emperor it's the divine masculine all right I, that's all I get off of it I get this is who we're talking about we're talking about your DM okay Mm-hmm. Uh, what, let's see what's crossing it. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. There's a chance to build something here with this person. There is. I believe that's true. I believe somebody's coming towards you. I do. Uh, Three of Pentacles. They're going to say they want to build something with you anyway. That's possible. Okay? I'm just giving you an example of somebody breaking up and coming to your house crying and you bang them. I, it's just an analogy. You can't take analogies literally. How the hell else am I supposed to convey feelings, energetic feelings into words to 10,000 people. Uh, it's not possible. You're all dealing with a different person. So I give it to you through analogies, song lyrics, things like that. People seem to like it. The channel's grown. So, okay. I, it's how I read energy anyway. It's how the universe gives it to me. Yeah, somebody wants, uh, somebody's going to come in and want to build something with you. Absolutely they are. But my problem is this. Underneath this, Watch this. Everything, repeat energy matters. Anything that repeats in your life matters. Pay attention, Gemini. Yep. Overall energy. After all that shuffling, I shuffled, I cut, I shuffled again. Somebody wants to come and build. Three of, three of Pentacles crossing it. Yep. The Emperor, the DM wants to build. Yep, they're coming in. Yep, Fool crossing the lovers. Recognize these cards. Five wands. Seven swords. There's that queen of cups I told you was there. I didn't show it to you before. I'm not a liar. It's right there. I don't have to. It's crossing a devil. 
It's for the wrong reasons. There's deception here. Somebody wants to build something. The universe didn't just bring that back for no fucking reason. Somebody wants to build something with you here. It's a DM, but something smells rotten. Something's fishy, as we like to say. All right. I'm just being honest with you. So don't go making too many big plans until you see for sure. I'm not saying that they're trying to screw you over. I'm just saying sometimes you get screwed over. Okay? Sometimes you do. It, it, you know, somebody says, I've broken up with my spouse. We've, we're done. We're finished. And you two start banging. Okay, great. This has happened a thousand times. Lifetime has built a whole network on it, for fuck's sake. A whole television network built around people getting scorned. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. They always go back. And until them divorce papers are signed, mm -mm, they're still together. All right. The reading's on the flip. And we know it doesn't repeat the pre-shuffle because that's on the bottom. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels and their emotions. Right here's how they feel in their soul about you. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Cut, cutting through all the deception. The soul doesn't lie. The soul is where the truth lives. That's why people suppress it down so much. That's why people push it away. Because it's where the truth lives. And nobody likes the truth. Any PR agency will tell you that. Public doesn't care about the truth. Yeah, well, people don't either. That's why people lie about their emotions. They tell you they're doing great when they're not. Or in this case here, they tell you they're not when they are. I don't know. It could go either way. Right here. Uh, definitely deception here. Coming up twice. Hidden energy. Message from the universe. I will tell you it's read with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot pre predict free will. I am not the power overlord of your, what your person does. I'm just here to give you the weather forecast. That is all. Do not run with it. And I have to say this on every Gemini reading because unfortunately there's a, about a handful, half a dozen Geminis that seem to be psychopaths who are taking my readings a little bit too seriously. Read the legal disclaimer that's in the description text. It's extremely important. All right, Make your own goddamn decisions. I'm just reading the energy. That's it. Just a talking hand on a video. But that repeating message is powerful. What's the energy around the connection? Mm. Emperor. It's the first card out. The overall energy is the Emperor. Right here is the uh, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. It's a card of uh, energy. Is Somebody who wants breadcrumbs is coming in to give something. It's nice. I like it. Okay. It's, it's good. Six of Pentacles. It, it's, it's good. Okay, I can just phrase it like that. How do they feel in their emotions? Wheel of Fortune. Something's changed. It, it is. My analogy of somebody broke up with somebody and they show up at your door is not that far off for a lot of you. Okay? Or they escaped a cult or something I get in, in, in my head. For some reason, it reads like that. Somebody escaped a fucking cult. And a cult can be anything. It could be a family that's locked in tradition and all that kind of That's very much like a cult. You know, it is. Either way, something's turned for this person. Something's changed. Something's caused them to now need you. To now want to cause the emperor to now need to come in and give some equal give and take. All right. Okay. So far, so good. This is all very nice. Except for, you know, all this shit. Uh, but aside from that, it's very nice. Uh, how do they feel in the soul? about you? Ace of Swords. Uh, what did I say earlier? I said the truth lives in the soul, doesn't it? It does. They know the truth. They know how they feel about you. With the Ace of Swords there, swords usually don't belong in the soul, but the Ace of Swords is okay. The Ace of Swords in the soul is just fine. That's someone who... It's Archangel Michael. It's an angel energy for a sword card. That's pretty cool. It's Archangel Michael's sword of truth. This person is aware of how they feel about you. Something's turned on their side. It, it implies that they maybe couldn't have come towards you before, but now they can. Okay. Good. Hidden energy. Red with the Six of Pentacles. What's the universe want you to know? Eight of Cups. Again, I say this to you. My analogy of somebody getting out of something and coming your way is pretty fucking accurate. And the cards are backing it up. And look, if this reading's not for you, turn it the fuck off. Go find another one. I'm, this, these are the energies that the universe has given me. And for at least one person watching this, 
I'm about to save them a lot of grief and a lot of crying. Okay? Somebody is walking away from eight broken cups. All right? And coming towards the, to give to this connection. Yeah, it comes up in the cards. And in the soul, there's a truth. They know. The soul, it houses truth. It's all love and truth. It, there's no lies. The soul doesn't lie. Okay? Okay. Potential final outcome. Red with the wheel of fortune, technically. Chariot, they're coming your way. They're coming your way. It's all here. It, you can just see the cards. I can't make this shit up. I mean, this is like a first grade reading right here. If, I was, if you would come to my house and say, teach me how to read tarot cards, and I pulled this, and you couldn't read this just from looking at the cards, I would suggest you find another hobby. I literally would. It, 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 they're coming towards you. Yes, I already said that. This is our baseline reading. The emperor, mm -hmm, you see it right here, your, your DM is coming towards you wanting to build something. We're going to clarify right now with a very powerful deck, the witches. And remember what I said about this emperor. It came back again. Yep, they want to build something. They're coming. We already knew it. The fool. This is what worries me here. This is what worries me. It worries me a lot. I don't like that energy. It makes me uneasy. And I don't want to see any of my people, male or female, in tears. Because they thought, well, they said they left, and then it, and then they didn't. They went back. Yeah, they went back. They always do. <laughs> they always fucking do. All right. Statistically speaking, six of Pentacles. Let's go. The witches are going to talk now. And this is a very powerful deck with this animal deck, especially with this little one. I think these two are banging at night. These two decks, I swear. All right, the six. Even the bird laughed, and he a Pisces, you know. All right, the six of Pentacles. Why is it here? Tell me about it. We're gonna clarify. Why now? Why does this person want to? This is the energy of the connection, and I see it. They're believing eight broken cups to come give to the connection, because something's changed. And the energy I get off of this here is, you're the first thing they thought of. You're the first thing they felt. Oh, well, I'll just, you know, I'll go toward Gemini. Mm. Okay. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Mm-hmm. Yep. God, man, I'm right. Let me tell you, I'm fucking right. I am fucking right. And again, I say, if this reading is not for you, stick around for the entertainment and my swearing or whatever but if it's not for you it's not for you okay but this is definitely for somebody there's way too much way too much here uh, uh, sh shaping up there's way too much symmetry here two of wands yep why are they now want to give to the connection that's what I asked why is the six of Pentacles here because they've let go of something something on their side fell apart the one wand is gone you're the only one left and it's interesting I thought I thought when I saw this, you're their Obi-Wan, is what I thought when I saw this. And, and I said, I just said right there, there's only one, only one one left. That sounds a lot like Obi-Wan. Right here, it's, the, you're the first thing they thought of. It's like I, I got this friend and I use the word loosely. His name's Bill. And whenever Bill needs money, I'm the first one he thinks of. For some reason, because I'm a softy, I suppose, you know, very, em I got a lot of empathy. I have deep empathy, so I feel what they feel, and I feel bad, you know. He knows he can always get a 50 off me, you know, or something along those lines. You know, I'm the first person, Bill. Thinks. It's like that kind of energy. Is your, is your person's name Bill? Is it? Fucking hell. All right, what's on top? King of, uh, King, I called it King of Pentacles, I wish. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. The energy of the connection is stopped at the water it, it, with, with this witch's deck, but there's more to it than that. I got to see why this is here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? I can't wait to see this. You have four of Pentacles. It's, it, it, it is. It's Bill. It's, I don't understand this fucking energy. Okay, I know this is a very specific reading, and I'm going to put that in the title, so I swear to God if I catch any shit for it. 
If somebody says, well, that wasn't for me, you suck. Okay, fuck off. It's a very specific energy. It, they, mm, they lost something. This person, whoever this is, lost something and they think you can replace it. Okay? And they don't want to... There, there's a lot of there's a fear of opening up to you. It's like they they don't want to tell you. It's like they don't want to tell you the truth. This is almost a not truth thing. This is uh, the uh, four of pentacles is, is is like the card of the miser, right? They're afraid to lose their money, so they hold on to it. It's usually read by my, myself and a lot of other readers as a card of fear. There's a lot of fear there. There's a fear here of uh, uh, the knight of pentacles stopped at the water. There's something about telling you the whole story here. They're coming to bring six pentacles to balance things out, but they don't want to tell the whole story. They hold back a little bit. All right, let's go. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Crazy energy to read. Crazy. As a reading, as the cards go on the baseline table, yep, they're coming in. There's a very good chance if this reading's for you, somebody's coming towards you. This reading's for you if you've been waiting for somebody to leave somebody or if it's a weird situation, like, like they're almost trapped in it kind of a thing. Mm, a family dynamic it could be or something along those lines. I don't know. That definitely would be this energy for sure. Why is the, uh, if your person's not with anybody and they're just single, maybe... They could apply to you. They could be coming in just because they're lonely. But uh, it's not really here, per se. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Mm. The High Priestess. Mm. Secrets, secrets, secrets. They're not revealing anything to you. They're not going to tell you what exactly happened here. Again, there's, there's a lot going on beneath the surface that you don't know that they want to keep secret. Okay, this seems to be secrets day around here. I got it with the cancer reading earlier too. Their person's afraid to tell some kind of secret. It was like the moon crossed by the hermit kind of a thing where it's like, you know, there's, there's just, oh, I'd have to explain a lot and all of this. But this is different. This is someone who is deliberately keeping something out. Uh, it's, well, it's what we would call a lie of omission, right? A lie of omission is, to, is leaving something out. If everyone says a lie of omission is still a lie. Yeah, it's still a lie. If I, if I tell you I left my wife and I bang you, but I neglected to tell you that, well, I only left for the night. I'm going to be back tomorrow. That's a lie of omission. I left out one little part of the story. Again, I hate to keep going back to that analogy, but I really feel like some Gemini is going to have somebody show up that they've been waiting for with tears in their eyes that they, that they left somebody. I swear to God, it's here. There's some sort of lie of omission coming your way because they're worried about some kind of secret. That, that, that something big happened here. What's on top? Justice. Some kind of breakup. Some, something big happened. It, it, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not good. Somebody broke up with something or escaped something. Again, I'm right. I'm a pretty good. I'm a pretty good energy reader on a bad day. Okay. I the bird laughed because that's a gross understatement. That's why he laughed and he a Pisces. Um, that, that, that's what's here. Why is justice here? Death. That's a divorce. Justice and death for any reader is the only thing missing here is a tower. You know. That's a that's a that's a that's a breakup. That's someone who I'm out of here. I want something new. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A high priestess, just just something secret about this. This lie of omission here. Okay, there is. I you cannot take my fine. If you want to ignore that, if you think no, Steve's wrong. Fine, I could be wrong. For you, I could. If that's the case, somebody somebody's done with something. Their whole life is changing, and because of that, they're coming towards you. Okay. You can believe that if you want. Knock yourself out. Don't come crying to my Twitter feed, though. Mm, all right. Don't. I don't want to hear it. I'll send you out for drinks with my sister, You, because she ignores me as much as that person would. You might as well go out and hang out with her and have fun. <laughs> Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ask me. Always ask me. I, I, like, I have never been wrong. When I have called people, I read people like a book. I have never been wrong. You ask me, what do you think of this person? What do you think of that person? I tell them. Completely ignores me. And then one and then shows up and she's the one showing up crying like this and kind of shit. But you know, it's it's unreal. 
It's fine. You you could choose choose to ignore parts of the reading. You can choose to keep parts of the reading. You can do what you want. You're going to anyway. You're a Gemini. You're going to do what you want. You got those two sides, right? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's see. I like them both. That's why I'm trying to protect you here. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. It's the card of the apprentice. It's a card of someone who's putting in the work a little bit. They are. This person's done some work on themselves. Otherwise, they wouldn't be even, even whether they whether it's bullshit or not, getting out of whatever they are, whatever this is, it's big. It's something that had somebody trapped. There's no doubt about that in my mind. There's no doubt. So somebody here has has been doing some thinking. I just I have all the wrong suits in the in the soul position. I have pentacles and swords in the soul position. Neither one of them really belong there per se. Okay, um, but the ace of swords at least tells me that you know they are aware how they feel about you, but they're they're how they feel about you is what this position is. Okay, how they feel about you in the soul. How they feel about you in the soul is they have realized that they can put you to practical use. You can be of use to them. Okay? That's what I was trying not to say. Because I'm trying to be positive here. I'm really trying. I am. And it's a very specific reading. I even gave you a more positive way to read this. But this is someone, I've seen this before. I've been pulling cards over 31 years now. And I have seen this. This is someone who feels in the soul that you can be of use to them. I, I don't say anything or joke about anything that's not in the energy. I never do. Every word that comes out of my mouth in a reading means something. It's something for you to think about. I told you about my friend Bill. Bill, the minute he needs to get money, I'm the first person he thinks of. Because he knows I'm the easiest to get it out of. I'm a softie. Right? He knows that. You give me a sob story, I give you a $50 bill. I mean, it really is. I am. That's why I'm glad I have my wife, because she's not a softie. She's a Leo. She fucking kick their ass. She makes sure you put that money away, Stephen. Okay? Okay. Put that fucking money in your, in your pocket. If she's standing there. My bottom line here is I told you that bill story for a reason. Somebody thinks you could be of practical use. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ten swords. And they're stabbing themselves in the foot in the process. Ten I just... What is happening here? Why is the ten swords here? Ten pentacles. Something and... Oh, my God. Okay. Again, it's a repeating message. Something long-term on this person's side ended, and they think, they feel, that you can be a practical use to them. Uh... It's a steely soul, a little bit. It's, it's someone who's doing what they have to do kind of energy. Okay? It really is. It really is. I swear to God. All I got is, oh, look, you don't believe me? All I got is pentacles and swords in the soul. That's all I've got. That's cold. The soul should be cups. The soul energy, the soul is made of love. We come from love. It's what we go back to when we die. All I got is pentacles and swords. You're of practical use. It's robotic in a way. It's like the emperor himself, Zod, right? Gen General Zod just bringing people in for, you know, purposes or whatever. It's somebody who can use, use your services. It's, you know, it really is. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Let's find out with the universe. The universe is going to give us some insight here. Let's find out. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Somebody's walked away from eight broken cups coming toward you. But for reasons I've already said, and this reading is backing it up 100%, I have never seen a soul pull like that. Not one time since I've been here have I seen that. Very rarely do I get ten swords in that position. That's... Uh, wow. Okay. Um, let's go. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? And I don't think they're being malicious. I don't think this is an evil person. I'm not saying that. I don't have a devil on the table or anything. It's just somebody who's sometimes in, in moments of, of desperation or if we're scared or, if, you know, maybe they, they escaped something. 
you know, a, 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 an abusive marriage or some sort of abusive family dynamic where they have a lot of control over them or something like that. When we're scared, we do what we have to do. This is an energy of someone doing what they have to do. The problem is they're doing it toward you, okay? And it, and it can be minor and it can be major. It doesn't matter. There's thousands of people watching. It, it could bear, play out differently for all of you. Only you know what your situation is, so you can turn up the volume or down the volume however you want. You know, why is the Eight of Cups here? Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's moving on. Somebody's coming right for you. It's the third slowest energy in the tarot. It's not particularly fast. It could mean that it took someone a while to do this. It could mean that. Okay, but again, it's a repeating message over and over again. These are red with these. Somebody's coming towards you. It's a repeating message over and over. Walking away from eight broken cups, walking away from choppy waters, or canoeing away. What, however you want to look at it, it's the same fucking message. What's on top? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody getting themselves free. Somebody finding their independence. Again, I get a message here of somebody who's in some kind of cult or a marriage that's very controlling or a family that's very controlling. I don't know. I get something like that here. Okay? So if that's your person, if they're in with some kind of you know, God forbid, a prominent family. <laughs> Jesus, those are the worst. Or, um, you know, <laughs> or some kind of, um, you know, uh, a marriage where somebody's, you know, very controlling. Can be, and that can be cultural too. So, uh, right here is the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> uh, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Ten of Wands. Uh, uh, it's been very hard for, I see it. This is a very slow moving energy and I said it when this energy hit. I said it may have taken them a while to break free of this. Yeah. This, oh my God, look at that. And they're coming right toward you. The soulmate connection. The two of cups, I accidentally left it there. Unreal. Um, this was hard for this person to get away from. Okay. The universe wants you to be careful. Because whatever this person got away from to come towards you is coming to get them back. Okay. I'm just going to say it. It's in the energy. Will come for them. Uh, whatever that means, I do not know. It reads like a fucking cult to me. It really does. Or one of them scary families. I get it. Or one of them scary cultures. I don't know. I get it. I don't know. It's not my place to judge. I'm just neutral. I'm just reading the energy. But whatever this is was a real hard for this person to break free of. But I'm telling you, what, whatever it is does not want, does not want them breaking free. That energy's here. The chariot is here. Okay, let's go. Why is the chariot here? Let's clarify it. This is a scary fucking reading. Okay, it is. I don't know who this is for. It might not be for you, but this is a scary ass fucking reading. I don't like it. I don't like this energy. I don't like the ominous look of this card. Sometimes on this card, I'm drawn to the little owl up top. It makes it a little nicer. It's not, it, 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 I'm not. I'm just drawn to all this down here. I don't have a devil on the table, though. That's the thing. I don't think your person is bad. I think they're just scared and doing what they have to do. Mm. But the problem is, it's, they're not being completely honest with you while they're doing it. Okay? That's all I want to tell you. And that pre-shuffle came back twice. Proof of that. Mm. Let's see. Why is the chariot here? Mm-hmm. Yep. Chariot says they're coming towards you. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Something turned on their side. Looks like they, they got out of something. Something that was hard for them to get out of. They're doing what they have to do. They see a practical use for you. Mm-hmm. The energy of the connection. Yep. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming to balance it out. But they're not being... Even these cards told me they weren't being completely honest. Okay? And with the High Priestess crossing here, we got some secrets. And crossing the chariot is the fool. They are coming towards you. They are. Okay? It, it is a clear energy that they are. Whoever this reading's for, they coming. What's on top? Knight of Cups. They coming. Because of this. Because It's red with justice. Because of whatever this is. Which could be a divorce. It could be them getting out of something. I, I don't know. A reversal of fortune. It could be. I don't know. Uh, maybe they got a, a judgment they were waiting for. Maybe they got some money and they could get out of something. I don't know. It's a general reading for thousands of people. How the fuck do I know? You're all dealing with different people. I'm just pulling from a general pool of energy here. Uh, yep, they're coming. Knight of Cups. They are. Why is the Knight of Cups here? 
Jesus. I'm afraid to look. Well, it's not that bad. It's the Ace of Wands. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, they want a new beginning. They do. They want a new beginning. It's it's a nice reading and a bad reading all rolled into one. I'm going to pull a few more cards for you. I always have to with Gemini readings. I always have to pull a little side reading. I'm going to do it from a different deck. I'm going to pull from the Lightseer deck. All right, just to get some fresh perspective here. Why are they coming toward? Because they are. They're coming. They're coming towards you. Knight of Cups. Uh huh. Chariot. Fool. All of that. Yep. Everything I told you over here. It, it was tough for them to get away from something, but they did. They see a practical use for you. It's the soul energy I'm worried about. Tell me about this soul energy. And they want a passionate new beginning. They do. Or they're going to tell you they do. Either or. I don't know. I'm pulling on the soul energy right now. I want to know why there's all swords and pentacles there. I want to know about this, why they're coming toward Gemini. Why is this person coming toward Gemini universe? And I'm pulling from the Lightseer deck, which can kind of get into the soul energy pretty good when I need to clarify something. So we'll see why they're coming towards you. Let's Come on now, let's go. The deck wants me to stop shuffling, then shuffle. Stop shuffling, then shuffle. Okay, well, let's go. We don't have all day. I guess we're going to have to wait. I want to give you an accurate answer. And I, my intuition is not telling me to stop shuffling yet. Why are they coming toward Gemini? Mm -hmm. I see the bottom card. It is this. The universe is telling us, is harkening us back to this. Right here. It is. It's all this. Right here. We're going to get more of an answer. But it's harkening me back to the Emperor. Which is tied to all of that. It's our overall energy. The Emperor is at the bottom. It's the universe saying, Steve, it's because of what I already told you. Okay. Something's changed on their side. This is your divine masculine. Oh, you know who that is, don't you? Yeah. Oh, do you? Okay. You know who that is? Where have we seen him before? Oh, I don't know. Maybe right there since the beginning of the damn reading. Again, guys, this is another deck. Three fucking decks have told me the same goddamn thing. This person's coming towards you. Your person. Yep, yep. Emperor. Divine Masculine. Coming in, crossed by the Wheel of Fortune because there, something's changed. Where, where have we seen the Wheel of Fortune before? Right here. It's everything I already told you. But it, they're not coming for the right reasons. The devil is there again. I'm going to have to pull on the devil. I'm going to hope we get the answer from the top of the deck because that's the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see. If not, I will pull on that devil. I'm not going to extend this, but I'm going to try and get some answers here. Because for somebody, at least one person watching, this is important. And everybody's important, even if it's just one person. Six of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Death card. Red, center, left, right. Again, they see use for you. The Page of Cups is crossed by the Ace of uh, Pentacles in this case here. Some sort of practical use. I'm going to have to pull on the devil. Okay? I'm going to pull on the devil. Well, let me put these cards back and let's pull on the devil from the deck he came out of. Let's see. Let's see what we get. I don't know here. Alright. Tell me about the devil. What is the devil's purpose? here? Why is this devil energy here? So the devil is indeed here. It is, the energy is floating around there. It lives in the Wheel of Fortune. It lives in the lie of omission. Uh, why is the devil here? Tell me about the devil. Let's go. Well, you really want me to shuffle, don't you? My God. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Some sort of toxic four of wands relationship. They're going to tell you they want to, I asked why they're coming towards you. They're going to tell you they want a relationship with you. They want to start a happy new beginning, a road to the Ten of Pentacles. We know that that's bullshit over here because we've got Ten Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, they're coming to talk to you. They're coming to talk to you. That's the center card. Seven of Cups. Mm. Mm. I'll pull it anyway. I wanted to come out with the Seven of Cups. It's the Nine of Swords. Crossing the, what would be the Empress, crossing you is the Five of Swords. Again, deception. It's a card of, um, 
sabotage a little bit. They're sabotaging the whole thing for some reason. I can't get a definitive answer. I do not know why. They, they, it, it could be because they don't want you to get away. The Page of Wands, she's chucking the spear into your back to make sure you don't get away. I don't know. They're independent. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom as well. There's that independence again that they got free from. Ten Swords again ties me to the soul energy. I'm not getting a very good answer here. I need more. I need something. I need the witches. Okay? Well, let's just try and see what the witches have to say. Uh, they're, again, I'm pulling on the devil. When I pull on the devil, I pulled three cards. The Nine of Swords is you. This is, this is, this is, this is where it ends for some reason. Um, it's like it's almost the cards are saying you, the Empress, because I'm pulling on the devil. Why are they coming towards you? Why is this devil energy attached to why they're coming towards you? You, the Empress, are being offered four of wands, but you're almost just an option for this person. You're the best option for this person. It's like they have to, they're doing what they have to do, sort of a thing, because they're very worried. Okay? They're very worried. These two cards wanted to come out together. That cross, it, which is self-sabotaging to this person, because once they burn you, they can't come back. You know, it seems odd. Let's see how they feel about you, real quick. How does this person feel about uh, Gemini? Let's see. Give me three cards in a bottom card universe. How do they feel about Gemini? Moon. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck is the, crossing the Three of Cups, is the Queen of Pentacles. I know it's not on camera. Let me see if I can get that up there. Okay. Ah, uh, they have a lot of respect for you. They want to come towards you. It's almost as though for some of you, this energy is secretly coming towards you. In other words, someone on their side doesn't want them to come towards you. That's possibility. Okay? They have a secret desire for you, if you will. But this person's going to come, going to leave as fast as they come in. Okay? They they do. And also they they view you as pentacles. They view love, the queen of cups. There she is again. Last time she was crossed by the devil. I don't think she is this time. She's crossed by a page of cups. There is love here. But it's practical love. They see a practical use for you. Again, it keeps coming up. They, there's a third energy here. So there's secretly three of cups. There is a third energy here. It's to, I'm, I'm still pulling on the energy of the devil. And there's devils all over here. A couple of different decks. Um, there's a third energy here. They're going to what's probably secretly the moon secretly come towards you. But the knight of wands tells me they, they come in fast and they get out. It ties to the energy of what I said in the pre-shuffle when I gave the analogy of someone showing up at your house crying, telling you they've broken up with somebody, you bang them, and then they get back together the next day and you think you were having dinner that night and we're going to have a second date. But, you, but it doesn't happen. They end up, well, yeah, we, we talked it out this afternoon, so uh, I appreciate last night. That was real good. And then it ends here. Here's a snapshot of you. It's the best I can tell you, Gemini. You know, it's a general reading. I'm doing the best I can. But this expect this person to show up. And when they do, pay attention. All right, don't let your emotions get the better of you. Make sure you understand why somebody's showing up. And if I were you, I'd keep your pants zipped. All right, unless you unless you know why you're banging them. If you just, you know, horny and you want to do it, knock yourself out. There's definitely some banging here for sure. But unless you know why you're doing it, don't start making plans for houses and cars and things like that because this Knight of Wands tells me otherwise. That third energy is still there. And I think because it was so difficult for this person, Ten of Wands, to get out of this and find their independence, I don't think that energy wants them gone, whatever it is. All right? That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope so. It's not for everybody. It's very specific. And I'm going to put that in the fucking title. So I don't want to hear no shit. Okay? But whoever this is for, proceed with caution, okay? All right. But they are coming towards you, I promise you, big time. Uh, and something has ended on their side, temporarily. That's the way it reads.
right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.